couple things to show you. First, let me just show you that this kind of works. All right, here's some optic flow results uh, taken from a, a computer vision class 2003 from a, uh, actually a tutorial here listed on the bottom. And you can see that when you run Lucas and Canati at the, on that front tree without pyramids, you get sort of terrible results. And voila, when you run it with the pyramid, you get a much better result. And our goal is to be able to get that much better result. But before we can do this, we have to talk a little bit more about multiple scale. So we've been having all this multiple scale stuff. Now, this isn't going to surprise you that it relates to some of the aliasing stuff and frequency stuff that we talked about. Oh, God, sounds like, found, sound, feels like months ago. It's probably months ago. I have no idea when it was. Anyway, uh, when we were talking about Fourier analysis and different scale. And what we're going to do now is take a little detour through multi-scale, and then we'll come back to Lucas and Canati. All right. So we talked about aliasing, and now I want to show you aliasing in, in terms of image subsampling. Okay. So image subsampling is what we talked about. You just throw away some number of pixels. So here we have a, uh, a nice, I sure hope it's in public domain, uh, picture by Van Gogh. This is one where you can see his ear. So on the other side, I guess there's no ear. You know about that, right? I'm going to assume you have some experience with Van Gogh. Anyway, OK, fine. So the picture on the left is an original picture where I've thrown away every sample. Maybe you can't tell. Picture in the middle, I've thrown away every other sample again, both horizontally and vertically. The picture on the right, I've done it again. Even, I can tell, you probably can't tell. I can tell it's kind of looking kind of crummy. And in fact, if I blow up that picture on the right, I see this. OK? And what you're seeing here, the, the junk that's in here, is caused by this, this aliasing, just like we talked about last time. And uh, when I zoom it back up, you can see that you've brought these high frequencies in there. And there's all this stuff in here that just doesn't seem like it's the blurry version of what was in the original. And that's because it's not. It's an aliased example. So how do we handle aliasing? Well, we talked about this last time. What we have to do is we have to filter and then subsample. So what I've done now is I've taken a small Gaussian smoothing, the original subsampled, then smooth it again and subsample, then smooth it again and subsample. And now, when I blow it back up, you'll notice that the Gaussian sample down, that actually looks like a blurred version of the thing on the left. Okay? And that's because I haven't done any aliasing. So to do this multi-scale stuff the right way, I have to sort of do this blurring and subsampling. 